in uh, Intertraffic, uh, we launch a new project, a new device that can revolutionize the uh, concept of safety on the roads thanks to a new device that can be installed in a road barrier with a very easy installation, very easy installation, with the low cost of installation and the maintenance and can be enable a new level of the safety on our roads. Uh, we can go to a better lighting system on the road surface and be, uh, by the meanings of a lot of sensors on board of the devices we can detect a critical situation on the roads uh, and can communicate with the sensor on the road in order to um, activate some particular scenarios so flashing light uh, red light this is to um, send alarms visual alarms to the vehicles approach their area with the danger and so we can enhance significantly the, the level of safety on the roads it's a it's an amazing system and i am familiar with it because <laughs> okay. uh, as you probably know i was part of the uh, intertraffic awards jury okay and it was, wonder. Uh, and it was not a nominate i mean as i've i said uh, you know all the nominations were fantastic and it was a very okay. difficult decision but it was my favorite out of the uh, thank you yeah <laughs> you got my vote <laughs> thank you but it's here behind us isn't it it's right exactly here. This exactly is, this, is this is the device an example of the high sensitive lane we'll get a bit of a better close-up in a minute but um so it's it's easy to install and it can it's not only it's obviously a light yeah it uh, basically is a light it's but a, light. a lot of sensors but very lot of sensors all the set it's got sensors on it that can detect Tell me what exactly they Weather condition, uh, temperature, uh, hydrometry, uh, coloration, uh, luminance of the road surface, uh, but also, and more important, acceleration in case of uh, an accident uh, to the barrier. In this case, uh, the system automatically goes to flashing mode in order to advise the travelers that are approaching the area with the accident, so they can go slowly and avoid the area of accident. All the devices are connected to the traffic control center, so the information about the accident arrives immediately in the platform, in the platform, and they can give the alarm and send the uh, vehicle for, for instance, for an ambulance, for medical support, or what else. So the the, um, the management of uh, whatever, uh, what kind of events is really easy and fast could be also activated without hitting a barrier, yeah. for instance, with an activation by a camera, oh. nearest. Okay. With the nearest camera, we can do the same thing, the same scenario. Yeah. So and moreover, uh, this could be an enabler for a connected environment that can send the information to the connected automatic vehicles on the road. So the information about the incident or other dangerous situation can be sent automatically to the Connected automatic road, connected automatic vehicles that can be adapted the speed and the path according to the information. A complete environment with a lot of sensors to enable a safer situation. Yeah. And also, of course, weather sensors is another big what, part of it. What is, so what weather, is it? Weather sensors are uh, um, traditionally installed as a completely separate device. Exactly. We it also integrate all those sensors in the, in the devices. So all the environment is completely connected. And how does it, is it a replacement for traditional lighting or is it more of a safety system? Is it, uh, you know, if you had a road with no lights, mm -hmm. would this, would this uh, be a good option for providing some light to that road? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. This yeah. system is able to avoid the standard installation, previous installation with the poles, the lights uh, at the 10 meters, 12 meters. We can reduce the uh, urban pollution thanks to the this system. Uh, thanks to the lights can remain at a lower level, so no pollution to the sky. It's all, it is all building up into a picture of how, although this does a lot more, it can actually be really much lower cost than traditional. Yeah, exactly. In comparison with traditional system, we have an estimation of a reduction of installation cost up to 30% on the installation, while uh, on the maintenance cost, we can estimate a reduction of 50% more, more, more saving, thanks to easy to access position in order to do a replacement, uh, cleaning, uh, what else. Yeah, and it, make, it makes perfect sense. 
particularly when you've got a barrier like that, can you install it when there's no barrier or is uh, it, it's, it's designed to go on to barriers particularly? It's designed to go into the barrier, yeah. it's designed to work in with the barrier in case of an accident. Yeah. In case of an accident, uh, the system completely goes out, out of the barrier in order to uh, avoid any particular um, object that can be a danger in case of an accident. Yeah. It's a great innovation. And, uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for, for telling me a bit more about it. And, uh, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of uh, Intertraffic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.